Let's talk about your brain, the part that makes up who you are, your conscious self. It's the part of you that interacts with the world around you, like we're doing right now. Right now, it's connected to an extensive resource called the intellectual mind. This part is unique to humans, other animals don't have it. When we're using this part of our brain, we usually make good decisions. It helps us understand situations properly and generally keeps us positive. But there's another part of the brain, the original, primitive part. The main bit of this part is called the amygdala. It's like the center for a fight, flight or freeze. There are two other parts connected to it, the hippocampus, which stores our old behaviors and experiences, and the hypothalamus, which controls our body's chemical reactions. Imagine you walk outside today and suddenly face a polar bear. Your anxiety shoots up, you lose control over your thoughts, and your body gets ready to run away. That's your primitive brain kicking in. In situations like that, this response is totally normal and helpful. But in everyday life, when our anxiety goes up, this primitive part of our brain takes over more and it tends to make us feel sad, anxious or angry. It's like back in the old days when cavemen saw danger outside their cave, they'd hide until things got better. We've kind of kept that instinct, but now it shows up as feelings of depression or anxiety. Anger is another part of this primitive brain. It's like a basic way of getting ready to defend ourselves, like how ancient people would prepare to fight wild animals or other tribes. But here's the thing. This primitive brain is really negative. It always sees things from the worst angle, which was helpful for survival back then, but not so much for dealing with modern problems like bills or arguments. It's also kind of obsessive. If you had a polar bear in your backyard, you'd keep thinking about it all the time, right? That's how this part of your brain works. And since it's not intelligent like the intellectual part, it just sticks to old ways of doing things, even if they're not the best anymore. So, how do we end up in this anxious, angry or sad state? It's because of negative thinking. It's not the events themselves that make us feel that way, but how we think about them. Every negative thought we have adds to our anxiety. It could be big worries like never finding a partner or small things like stressing about a meeting. Thankfully, we have a way to deal with all this stress. When we sleep, our brain sorts through all these negative thoughts and turns them into manageable memories. That's why sometimes you wake up feeling better after a bad day. But if we're constantly stressed and not sleeping well, our brain can't do this job properly. And that just makes everything worse. So, we need to focus on the positive things in life to keep our brains in a good place. When we do that, our brain produces a chemical called serotonin that makes us feel happy and cope better. We can use a technique called trance to access our subconscious mind, and when we use trance, we feel positive, and it helps us see things in a different light. It's like a super easy way to make things better. So there you have it, how your brain works for and against you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.